And welcome back. Now, born in New York, raised in London, but of Balinese descent, Indonesian contemporary artist Sinta Tantra has certainly made her mark in the international world of art. Yes, she has been the recipient of numerous awards, including the prestigious Deutsche Bank Award. Now, one of her most notable works include her painting of a 300-meter bridge at the Canary Wharf in London. The painting was created for the 2012 Olympics and is one of her many public installation pieces. Her other notable public installation pieces is located in the world's largest private development project in Songdo, South Korea. Now, Sinta's work is known for reflection, symmetry, pattern, geometry, and exotic motives. Many critics have described Sinta's work as exuberant, but the much use of, with the much use of color. Now, Sinta's style has surely been a success as she has been the recipient of over nine awards, including the prestigious Deutsche Bank Award. And now we have with us in the studio Indonesian contemporary artist Sinta Tantra. Hi Sinta, thank Hi. you so much for coming. Thank you so much for inviting me. Right, so you were born in New York, you were raised in New York and London, but you're of Balinese descent. Yes, now, that's great. That's, yeah, that's a big exposure to different cultures. Mm -hmm. Do you think that's definitely um, affected your art? I think so, but I think it's also reflective of the times we live in. Um, okay. So now when we go to America or UK, there's so many more Indonesians living abroad in mm -hmm. diaspora. So it's an exciting time, I think. Right, so it's, it's quite usual. Is what you're saying, um, I think it's exposure. becoming more usual right. and I think uh, it's exciting when those Indonesian people who have studied abroad come back to mm -hmm. Indonesia and develop okay. their work here. Right. Now let's, let's start from, from the beginning. When, when did your interest in art first start? Um, I think I was always a bit creative when mm -hmm. I was younger. So I started playing the piano and mm -hmm. uh, music mm -hmm. and then it sort of developed into art during my mm -hmm. teenage years. Mm -hmm. Now, you do public art, right? Yes. Now, what sparked your interest in actually, you know, public, public art? art yeah. I mean, it's a bit different because I think naturally most artists would want to exhibit inside a gallery mm -hmm. space and inside a kind of sa safer environment mm -hmm. to some extent. Mm -hmm. um, creating works in the public can be difficult because you have to negotiate yes. with um, sort of permissions uh -huh. and um, sort of budgets and people mm -hmm. and all those sorts so of things. So you require you to have, you know, a lot of time? Is there a lot yeah, of time I think needed? so. But the reason why I love it is because it's, you know, it's interacting with real people in the real world, mm -hmm. whereas the gallery space can be a bit too much of a vacuum mm -hmm. and perhaps do, um, I mean, academics are really good, but it's nice also to do a work that mm -hmm. sort of speaks to mm -hmm. everyday people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, now, you, you've made many public art pieces mm -hmm. and a lot of maybe towns and cities have asked you to kind yes. of make public installations. Mm -hmm. Now, what, why do you think it is that people are so drawn into your art? I think um, a lot of people say it has an optimistic feel. Okay. And I think part of that optimism and the colours and the look of it, um, even though it looks quite Western, I think the colours and the attitude perhaps were inspired by my background in Bali. Mm -hmm. Like the colours are so opulent mm -hmm. in Bali, very sort of mm -hmm. exotic, pretty, and sort mm -hmm. of about colour and composition in many mm -hmm. ways. Right. Now, uh, talking about Bali, um, you're of Balinese descent. Mm -hmm. uh, Bali is very famous for its art and culture. Yes. I yeah. mean, do you think that has uh, sparked your, in is that why you're sparking your interest in art and um, how does it influence yeah, you? Yeah, I think so. I think with Balinese culture, because of the religion and the religion really encompasses your everyday mm -hmm. life. Mm -hmm. And so for me, that's probably why I like to place my work in kind of everyday life mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. um, also in Bali, people tend to, you know, make lots of ceremonies together. So mm -hmm. there's a kind of collective mm -hmm. um, event mm -hmm. okay. and part of my public artworks is mm -hmm. about kind of working with other people and um, you know collaborating and mm -hmm. making making something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you grew up in London, right? Yes, I grew up New mostly York in London, London as yeah. well. But you travel to Bali every year. I it's tried to travel to Bali every year for about yeah. three three four months. Mm -hmm. Now the year. reason why is because you wanted to you know just sort of learn a lot more about the culture. Of I think so. I think you know you could be brought up, uh, you know I could be brought up anywhere in the world, but. There's always kind of part of me and part mm -hmm. of my heritage which always wants me to come back to mm -hmm. another home. Mm -hmm. And I think in these days people tend to have or can have many homes mm -hmm. everywhere in the world. That's true, that's true. Now in terms of maybe your style and your design, mm -hmm. how has the Balinese culture or Indonesian culture like influenced it? I mean, do, do we see much of that in your work? Um, I think it's perhaps, um, I think it's more of an attitude and mm -hmm. sort of inspiration. It, it perhaps it doesn't look, perhaps when you look at it first, it's quite Western, mm -hmm. so it has quite an abstract look to it. But, you know, on another way, you could sort of look at batik mm -hmm. and sort of abstract designs in batik. Mm -hmm. um, and then that 
idea of the decorative and craftsmanship, mm -hmm. which you could perhaps mm -hmm. see in my work as well. Right. When, you, when it comes to art, let's say you've been living abroad and, and you went to Bali, now do you see a lot of difference when it comes to, you know, sort of their, um, maybe the colours, the, the, not maybe culture, colours, their, their form of art, their types of art, do you see a lot of difference? Um, I mean, I think um, going to Bali, I think there's a lot of painting and sculpture and more traditional forms of art. Um, and I think perhaps doing something site-specific or public art is quite a, quite a new concept. But mm -hmm. also, I think the Balinese do public art, but they don't realise it's public art in the mm -hmm. sense that there's... Like the statues. Yeah, the statues and, right, and exactly. everything's kind of... It's sort of overflowing with colours and mm -hmm. Bali, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So I think that's also an inspiration. Mm -hmm. Have you have you made any public art in Indonesia? In like Asia. like the same like yeah. the, the the bridge from the Olympics? Yeah, not quite yet. No, <laughs> so okay. not yet, but it'd be uh -huh. really exciting to do. Uh, did my you have first any plans? Mm -hmm. Well, I'd love to. Yeah, just um, I think a lot of time with my projects, it has mm -hmm. to be because it's not graffiti. Whereas graffiti, mm, right. you mm -hmm. don't necessarily need permission, and you could just go yeah, out and they're sure. sort of immediate mm -hmm. um, and people do link my work to street art but the difference is well firstly I'm a woman mm -hmm. so um, you know street art often has kind of male like connotations mm -hmm. of men and mm -hmm. kind of um, and yeah so I think it takes a while to develop and also I, I want to be sensitive to the area mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. talk to the people so mm -hmm. there's always a bit of a consultation period as well mm -hmm. so when the it, when it all works it's it's great so, so yes. the developers like the work and then yeah, yeah, I work with the developers and yeah. perhaps conversations with the community mm -hmm. who live there, work there. What do they mm -hmm. think? What would they like? Okay, okay. You are based in, um, you're based overseas, educated there as well mm -hmm. and maybe worked there as well. Now, was, was it easier for you to break into the international scene as opposed to, let's say, a local um, art scene? Um, I think London's an exciting place. It's mm -hmm. very competitive. Um, the benefits is that I went to quite good colleges in London, which meant that I had, you know, networks as soon as I left college. Um, but, you know, it's always really tough wherever you are. Um, London's great, it does have opportunities, but it also has a lot more art schools, therefore mm -hmm. a lot of artists. Mm -hmm. okay. Here there are fewer, I guess, fewer artists, I guess, or fewer art schools, yeah. so mm -hmm. it's just different competition. So it's easier to actually, you know, be locally known in Indonesia. I think it's <laughs> difficult in any That's situation. Um, and I think nowadays when I think the art world is becoming more global, mm -hmm. so it doesn't necessarily mean, you know, in fact, kind of having a studio in Jakarta or Jogja or Bali can be a positive thing because mm -hmm. it's sort of cheaper living mm -hmm. and then perhaps international curators that come mm -hmm. might be able to come and do a studio visit mm -hmm. and have more time for you, whereas in London, the, the, uh, the hierarchy is already established, so it's right. very, very sort of uh, more difficult okay. to... Competition is higher. Yeah. <laughs> it's right. higher, yeah. Right. Now, what's, what's, what's your opinion on the contemporary art scene here in Indonesia? I think it's fantastic. Yeah. I think I'm so excited about it because I think growing up, there wasn't much of a contemporary art scene at all. Mm -hmm. And over the years, it's developed. So every time mm -hmm. I come here, it mm -hmm. gets more and more exciting. Every time I speak to colleagues, mm -hmm. you know, some of my uh, colleagues in Jogja are traveling a lot more than me. You know, they mm -hmm. travel all over the world for their exhibitions. So, and I think everyone's looking at Indonesia and Indonesian art. Mm -hmm. I think part of that is to do with the unique culture, the diversity Indonesia has to offer. Mm -hmm. Also perhaps, um, I guess just the type of art. Um, mm -hmm. It has historical, political, social issues to it. Um, and so it's just developing in new ways, which perhaps is very different to the mm -hmm. West. Yeah. Right, now, uh, just, just recently there was uh, the Art Stage Jakarta that was held mm -hmm. in Indonesia, and it's the, the first of that scale, mm -hmm. uh, some say. I mean, that shows a lot of development. Do you think um, that maybe uh, it's it's been growing a lot in the recent years than before? I think um, art fairs are an interesting thing. Yeah. Um, they they reflect the idea, uh, the sort of collectors and market. Mm -hmm. So I think it's a reflection on the fact that there are more Indonesian collectors, mm -hmm. which is also exciting for mm -hmm. the artists. Um, and that market is continuously growing. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that's also shown in the art stage Mm. exhibiting right. here a few months ago, a month ago. Right, Do you no. think there's a big chance for Indonesia to actually make it globally? I think it's already art. global, it's or just kind of like it needs to go even, and yeah, I mean, I think it's already creating buzz mm -hmm. abroad. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm from, I live in London and I know the British Council are very supportive of the cross-cultural relationships mm -hmm. between Indonesia and uh, the UK, so mm -hmm. I think you'll see more okay. of it in the future. Right, mm -hmm. now, uh, just very quickly, Sinta, now you're, you're, you're back here uh, to have an exhibition yes. in Jakarta, mm -hmm. tell us more. Okay, so the exhibition opened um, a few days ago at the World Trade Center 2. Okay. It's open for the public. Um, it's an exhibition with four artists, um, Indonesian artists, uh, three Indonesian artists mm -hmm. and one 
British artists and the connection is that we all studied in um, in the UK. Mm -hmm. So the two other Indonesian artists as well as me, mm -hmm. we all studied in London. Yeah. Okay, great. Well, we'll be looking forward yes, to maybe seeing the exhibition. Yes, and Thank good you luck. Very much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you so much.